Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng says that the People's Action Party's renewal process is systematic and structured, and done by fielding those able to serve the wider interests of Singaporeans. Mr Wong was responding to intentions of some opposition parties striving to capture a group representation constituency or GRC in the coming election. The PAP introduced a new group of candidates today, which also saw its first new woman candidate. It's important for voters to know the background of candidates, says Deputy Prime Minister Wong, as he introduced the PAP's first new woman candidate for the coming polls. 45-year-old Fu Mi Ha is the global head of premium banking at Standard Chartered Bank. She joined the PAP last year and has been helping at the cashew division in Holland Bukitima GRC. Since then, I've been doing quite a lot of block visits um, in different areas, you know, looking at people's home. Obviously, there are plenty of happy Singaporeans and there are also people who need our help. So we're just going through that process. 38-year-old Steve Tan is the executive secretary of Young NTUC, the Labour Movement's official youth wing. He's also the third candidate for the Labour Movement introduced so far. I come from a generation which straddles the Singapore as it was developing and the Singapore that we see today. But definitely uh, plucked into the psyche of the workers, workers today, uh, Singaporeans today, and... We have lived meritocracy through our own lives. 35-year-old Desmond Lee is an associate director in the Legal and Regulations Department at Tomasek Holdings. He's the son of former cabinet minister Lee Yok Swan and had some advice from his father. His advice was uh, think very carefully. Uh, are you able to serve? Do you have a heart for the people? Uh, because this is really serious stuff. It is... 100% or more of your energy, of your time. But I thought that was very sound advice. Uh, and as you would know, the uh, process or the road uh, to reach here was a long one, a rigorous one. And that gave me a lot of time to reflect, to think. Meanwhile, the PAP hopes opposition parties will not wait till nomination day to introduce their candidates. Deputy Prime Minister Wong reminded Singaporeans that provisions have now been made in Singapore's parliament to have up to nine opposition members as non-constituency members of parliament so that the voice of the opposition continues to be heard in the House. Mr Wong also urged voters to weigh the intentions of the opposition to capture a GRC. Some of them say, well, we want to do that for renewal. And there are others who say, uh, well, they want to uh, be the first one to break through into a GLC and, uh, and win the GLC. But I think this election is about what? I think that's what voters should really ask. What is this election about? Is it about the, the interests or ambitions of political parties or individuals' interest to create a legacy? or to make history. I think that is a question voters should really ask themselves. I believe that this election is really about the future. The PAP has so far introduced six new candidates with more expected in coming days.